God, you're my all in all, no matter what I face, no matter what I face, when success comes, I will, I will praise you. 
I'm a lawyer. I'm a so that I can't
Wait, you all later. Yes, sir. No, no, no. I wrote my low one. I'm going to catch the case. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Shall we bow our heads to pray? <laughs> Mighty Father, the Lord God of our Lord Jesus Christ, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, we thank you for whom you are. We thank you for your protection. We thank you for your provision. We thank you for everything you've done for us, waking us up in the morning. We are not in the hospital, neither are we in the prison yard. Lord, we give you glory, we magnify your name. When we look at people bragging, 
and saying there is no one like there, we laugh and mock their unbelief. That these people don't know that God can withdraw their life within a twinkling of an eye. But you did not do us evil. Thank you for being a father that cares for our life. Thank you for your care for our souls. You did not want us to go to hellfire. You did not want us to be damned at the end of this age. Therefore, you sent your only begotten son, our Lord Jesus Christ, to die on the cruel Calvary tree. That we are setting you we will yield our life to you. We will make you both our Lord and Savior in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that your word will come forth with great precision. I pray that it will come with clarity of understanding. I pray that you will touch our soul so that we won't regret coming to this land. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Before we go to the word of God, can we sing this some choruses together? That what my song will be. That was my song will be. That was my song will be. Alleluia, alleluia, that was my song will be, that was my song will be, that was my song will be, alleluia, alleluia, that was my song will be. That's what my song will be. That's what my song will be. Alleluia. Alleluia. That's what my song will be. That's what my song will be. That's what my song will be. Alleluia. Loja, that's what my song will be. That's what my song will be. That's what my song will be. Sing hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Sing alleluia Sing hallelujah, hallelujah, it's a heavenly language, it's a heavenly hallelujah, it's a heavenly language, it's a Hallelujah, angels 
I pray that the sacrifice of Jesus on the Calvary tree will not be vain concerning our life in Jesus' name. Just as you see us here today, what prompts us to come to this place? Why do you see us here today? You've seen us today not because you've not been hearing the gospel, but we just want to tell you and put in a, a reminder to you so that we will not forget what we've had before so that we can have a recap of what we've had before that Jesus Christ died for your sin and for my sins there is no pastor there is no leader 
that died for you apart from Jesus Christ. Therefore, there is no one you must listen to wholeheartedly that is other than Jesus Christ. You were born with sin, I was born with sin. You were rooted in sin, I was rooted in sin. No sinner can save another sinner. No unrighteous person can save another righteous person. You need a righteous person to save a sinner. If you look at the scripture of the Lord, in Psalm 15, from verse 1, the word of God said, Lord, who shall abide in your tabernacle? Who shall dwell in thy holy hill? Who shall abide in your tabernacle? Who shall dwell in your holy hill? The Bible makes us to know that the place of the tabernacle of God is a holy place. It is not a place for sinner. It is not a place for backbiter. It is not a Heart. Not a liar in his heart. God is giving us a clue to who can play, say, in his holy place and in his tabernacle. He that was bited not with his tongue, not do it in who. To his neighbor, now take, now take it up a reproach against his neighbor. He who is a bad person is content, but he honorates them that fear the Lord. He honored those who fear the Lord. He did not dishonor people that fear the Lord. No matter how big or small they have. He that sweareth to his own heart and he changes clothes. He that put not out his money to usury. Now take a reward against the innocents. He that doeth these things 
shall never be moved. He that doeth these things shall never be moved. This is the standard of the holy will of God. This is the standard of people that must be in his holy tabernacle. My brother and my sister, can you check yourself in the standard of this world? You are destroying other people. You are using other human beings for rituals. You become an enemy to godly people. You are a thief and a robber. You are a womanizer and you are an adulterer and a fornicator. You, by the standard of the word of God, Psalm 15, you cannot enter his tabernacle. Neither can you be in his holy ill. If you cannot do so, so on hearts, how can you make it to heaven? Now, it is very, very hard. It is very, very hard for an unrighteous man to inherit the kingdom of God. It is very, very impossible for godless person to make it to heaven. Therefore, you and I must know that somebody died for us and that person is Jesus Christ. You'll be hearing about Jesus for a long time. But if wishes are us, his beggar will ride. If wishes are us, his but how many beggars or servants are riding on horses? My brother, my sister, if you can make preparation for what we eat in the morning, afternoon, and in the night, the Bible says food for stomach, stomach for food. The Lord will destroy it one day. If you can make arrangement for what we eat, and you are not making arrangements for where you will stay in eternity. You are not wise at all. If you can make arrangements for where you will sleep in the night, which is for a short time, but you don't make arrangements for where you will stay in eternity, which is forever. You and I that do such, we are unwise. If you can go to Mr. Beast and Tantalizer, because you are hungry and you are not making arrangements and you are not hungry for the, the eternal life. You are not thinking of where will you go when you close your eye in death. As you are living here or not, there are people crying in pain forever in hell. As you are walking along this road now, some people are worshiping God before the throne of glory forever in heaven. Your decision will determine where you will be in the two. You are keeping boyfriend and you are sleeping together. You are lying, you are cheating, you are doing all manner of sin. You will not go to heaven. You are a murderer. You cannot go to the kingdom of God. You say, what is this which I say? Did you see us with girls? If you are both pregnancy, whether one day or half day, you are a murderer. If you speak evil of people, you destroy their character, you lie against them, so that people will hate them, you are a murderer. If you see properties of another person, you steal it, you are a murderer. 
If you cannot speak good about people behind them, you are a killer. How shall we escape judgment day then? How would you escape judgment day if you reject such great love? Sometimes your heart will ask you, how would you escape judgment day? How would you escape judgment day if you reject such great love? Sometimes your spirit will ask you, how would you escape judgment day? How will I escape judgment day if we reject such great love? Sometimes our heart will ask us, how would you escape judgment day? We have not come to preach church to you, but we've come to preach Jesus who was crucified for your sin and for my sin. You need to accept Jesus Christ. Just as you are said to be inside the car, go somewhere. Such as you entrust your safety to a driver in a car. Even though you never met the driver before, you just make up your mind that he will carry you to safe destination. The same trust you must have in Jesus' work of redemption on cross. I plead with you, ladies and gentlemen, as many that fear the Lord, if rapture you take place tonight, if rapture we take place tonight, can you say that assuredly with your heart that by the mercy of God you make it to heaven? Heaven is not for still naked people. People that cannot apologize for their misdeeds. People that cannot say I'm sorry for any misdemeanor. People that can look down on another person who is seen. The Bible says God resisted the proud. God resisted the proud. God resisted the proud. And give it progress to the humble. When you've re given your life to Jesus, when you've given your life to Jesus, you will not ask him for grace to go and see no more. He claims to go and see no more. He will give it to you and me. He claims to live by the word of the Lord. He claims to live by the covenant of the word of God. In the mighty name of Jesus. And he will do it for you. He will do it for me. When you look for a good Bible believing church, where they live and preach the truth. Number one, where they live and preach the whole counsel of God. Number one thing is you obeying the word of God. Number two is preaching the word of God. I pray God will give you repentance unto life today in Jesus' name. Rich man, Jesus is calling you. Poor person, Jesus is calling you. There is enough place in heaven for all of us. Only if we repent. You must look into your life. Am I living right? You and I must ask the question from ourselves. Are we living right? We complain about the situation in the country. But things are hard in our country.
has come to this world. Whenever they die, they say, late so 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 person. But when you not died, he didn't bear the one late because he resurrected on the third day. And he's sitting at the right hand of power of God forever. And he's the one that told us to come and remind you. My brother, escape for your life. My sister, escape for your life. The church has become another thing today. Many pastors cannot speak true to their members again. They will tell you that if they speak the truth, there won't be crowd in the church. Why will you commit your life to a pastor? Who is not interested in you escaping hell and judgment? A pastor that is only interested in your pocket and what you give him. That is not weeping over your soul. That is not crying in the closet for your soul. Those who died yesterday without Jesus are already in hellfire. Those who died this morning without Jesus, you are already in hellfire. And Gary and fire that they will be forever and forever. People of God, as I'm preaching, some people are dying now and they are being judged, going to hell right now. Where will you be? Where will you be when the trump of the sound? Where will you be? When it sounds so loud, when it sounds so loud, as to wake up the dead, where will you be when it sounds? Sister, where will you be when the trumpet goes sad? Oh, where will you be when it sounds so loud? When it sounds so loud, as we wake up the dead, oh, where will you be when it sounds? Listen to me, people of God. What I'm preaching to you is what I preach in the United States. What I preach to you is what I preach to Hindus in India. What I preach to you is what I preach in Europe. Brothers, Jesus is only one. And he's only once he died for you. If you accept his sacrifice, you will make it to heaven. If you stay on that narrow path, you will not be damned. But if you reject this word, my father will reject you on that day. Brothers and sisters, let's listen to me. When you get to your kitchen these nights, or you are ready in your kitchen, can you put your head on your stove? Let the fire burn your head here once. Can you put your finger on your on your cooker and endure the heat of the furnace, which is for a short time? Hell is torturous. Hell is burning. Nobody can assuage the fire. Nobody can quench the inferno in hell. God himself cannot quench the fire in hell again. My brother escaped the horror of hellfire. I've had the cry of eight year old, ten year old children in hell forever. Brother, I've had the cry of those who are less than ten years. In hellfire, where will you be?
to him. And this time, as I'm talking, to drop all sins and all appearances of evil. My brother, I come to you in all soberness. I present Jesus to you in all humility. And I cry for your soul, brothers and sisters. Let us bow our heads. Let's bow our heads. As many that fear the Lord, bow your heads. Wherever you are, bow your heads. Begin to look into your soul. You would have known where you would be if you are sincere with yourself. But the blood of Jesus that I see dropping, only a drop of his blood will cleanse you and me. Let's call upon him to cleanse us. As many that are hearing us. Some of you are saying, oh, this preacher is not praying for our sickness. Do you know that most of the time sickness come by reason of sin? The God that I'm presenting to you, I preach him in different parts of the world. As I preach him like this, he stretches his hand to heal. As I preach him like this, he stretches his hand to deliver. He breaks the yours and set people free. All that you need to do is say, Lord Jesus, I surrender all. Lord Jesus, I surrender all. Lord Jesus, I surrender my soul. My students, surrender your life to Jesus. Youth, surrender your life to Jesus. Adults, surrender your life to Jesus. Nobody knows who's turn to die. Next. If you die tonight, and you are inside Jesus, Jesus will say, welcome, O faithful servants. Even though it's just now that you repent it. If you die immediately, Jesus will overlook all the sins you've committed all the years. And he wiped them off by his blood. Because to you and to me, he said in Romans 9, Romans 10, verse 15 and 16. The word of God said, and he said unto Moses, not only Moses did he speak to, he's speaking to me, Prophet Charles Arioke. He's speaking to you, put your name there. That I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy. And I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. I've come to tell you that the door of mercy is opening now. I've come to tell you that the door of God's compassion is opened by the power of God now. I've come to tell you that whatever be your They sent him out of school because of his sanity. He came to the place where I preach in Equa Church. And I draw him to myself. And I embrace him. And I command the spirit of insanity to let go. God had my prayer on that day. As he's hearing my prayer for you today, that boy was healed and cured of insanity. He returned back to his school. 
And in the name of Jesus is giving rights. Brothers and sisters, I want you to join me in prayer. Let's talk to God to forgive us. Let's tell him that we are sinners. Let's tell him that we want him to be the Lord and captain of our soul. Let's tell him that we love him too as he loves us. And we are willing to submit our life to him. He's the one that led the patriarchs of all to heaven. And he will lead us to heaven by his mercy. He's the one that led David to heaven. He's the one that led Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob to heaven. By his mercy, he will lead us to this holy heaven. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Let's ask God to forgive us now. Tell God to give you power over sin. As you are saying, the Lord is hearing you. As I'm talking, the heaven is opening for you and I. In the mighty name of Jesus. God bless you as you obey. And look for a Bible believing church that will encourage you and follow you up in the way of the Lord. Because when you accept Jesus Christ, don't forget that Satan that you've been you, that is using you before will not sit on, 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 on following you. He will pursue you to kill you, to destroy you. But Jesus, as he has come to give you life and give me life, will rescue you. So you need the mentoring of those who are older in faith. Who are filled with the power of Holy Ghost. So that they will encourage you in hard places of this life. To live only life. To live justly life. The Bible said the grace of God will bring us salvation. As appear to all men. Teaching us to deny all ungodliness and live righteously, soberly, godly in this present world. And so shall it be in the name of Jesus. Now, wherever you are, if you are in debt, I want to pray for you. If you are in debt, that's the people that God said I should pray for first. As he paid the debtors of people in the scriptures, Second King chapter 4, verse 1 to 7. The wife of one of the sons of the prophets. The husband who is a prophet died. And he left death behind. The doctor came and said he will carry all the two children away. Until the woman pay all his debts. He ran to meet a prophet of God. Who said, what did you have in your house? She said she has a pot of oil. Said that one is enough. Go and borrow plenty pots. Shut the door against yourself. He pouring that oil inside the pot. He went, she went and borrowed plenty pots. Only one pot jar of oil. Fill all the plenty full and all empty pots. And she returned to me the prophets. Oh, I don't finish. We pour to up the pots. The man of God said, go and sell it. Pay your debts. And live on the remaining. He did it by the power of Holy Ghost upon his life. Today I'm going to pray so that all your debts God will cancel it. No matter how big it is. I was preaching in Abuja some time. A young man came to me. He said he wanted to contest an election into the House of Assembly. But he was in debt to the tune of seven million. And those who owe him, they were looking for him, they carry UFCC to arrest him. 
He came to meet me and said, Prophet, please pray for me. I believe in your call. Please pray for me. The man is still alive. Those who are there are still alive. But they are in Abuja. Where the headquarters of our church is. But we have a branch here. So I pray for the man. And I told my father that in less than seven days, he should clear up the day for him. And God heard the voice of his servants. The Bible says he's the one that performed the counsel of his servants. And fulfill the word of his messenger, the prophet. In less than seven days, somebody brought a, a, sea, a paper of a land to him. That they want to sell these properties in Abuja. Can you help us market it? He took it by faith. He took it by faith. As he was going, somebody approached him. I'm looking for land. Somebody told me to come and look for land in Abuja. When he collected the paper, he called the person that gave him paper. Let's go and see the place. Somebody wants to buy it. They go to the place, the man said it's good for him. We paid all the money, they said he should pay. The man paid all the debt of seven million in less than one week. God is my record. I was preaching in the United States of America, so people came, they said their business was not flourishing. In Atlanta, Georgia. Atlanta, Georgia. And I told the person, I said, this is what God said. He's going to lift this business that is not in. And the business boom again. The person cannot even sleep in the night because of the stress. And the pain of the death that was hanging. If God had me in far away, far away land, and he did it in Nigeria, he would do it in our states. Put God to a test whether this man is from him or not. Tell God and show him your debts. Tell him that as you are he's paying your debts, Lord, I will not leave you alone. I will not leave you again. Father, as they are talking to you, I join their faith with my faith. I ask that you pay all the debts in the name of Jesus. I pray that you pay all the debts in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Then I want to pray for those who are looking for the fruit of the womb. If you are not married duly, don't come for the blessing of the fruit of the womb. Because if you speak with somebody you don't marry, it's a sin. You know somebody that is married and there is no child, come and stand for that person. Those that are watching us on Facebook and in the Zoom, stand for somebody. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for them. They are standing for people that are looking for fruit of the womb. You that gave child to Abraham, Sarah. You that remember Anna on that day. Remember them and make them fruitful. Fruitful in their womb. Fruitful in their finances. That they will use the resources to serve the Lord. Thank you for hearing us. For Jesus, they will pray. Finally, whatever problem you have that I've not mentioned, stand up and tell God with your heart. Child God, you want God to do this for you. I believe your prophet that comes on our way today. I believe your prophet you sent to this place today. Tomorrow we'll be in another place preaching this gospel. But this is your day. 
Don't let it pass pass you by. Just tell the Lord what you want now. And tell him you will serve him. Your righteousness and holiness before him. Father, accept this word of covenant. Accept this word of covenant which you make with your word. And meet the need of your children now. Provide for the need of your children. In Jesus' powerful name, we pray. Let's wave our hand to heaven and thank you. If you believe that the Lord has done it, wave your hands. I believe, wave your hands. My brother, my sister, I can see your hand, wave your hand to Jesus. I didn't say wave it to me, a prophet Ario. Wave it to King of Kings that died for you. Wave it for the Lord of Lord and the King of Kings. Wave it to Jesus, the starter and finisher of our faith. As I'm looking at you, God is looking at you. The Lord is writing your name in the book of life. And he's meeting all your needs beyond your expectation. The word of God said to him that he's able to do exceedingly. Abundantly above what we ask for things. According to the power that working within us. He has been able to do the work of a prophet's prophet before I leave. So will you Some of you have never left Nigeria. You will see yourself using container to bring in luggage to Nigeria. And be selling by the word of the Lord. If I be a man of God, if the oil of God is short of my destiny, I speak to your life and foundation of your life. Every generation of you can prove. Every foundational yokes, ancestral yokes and bondages, I call against you by the word of the Lord. I list you against the rock of Jesus. I lift you against the blood of Jesus. I confront you with the cross of Jesus. I confront you with the name of Jesus. And I decree to you that I'm watching. And I decree to you that I'm hearing. Go and prosper from now on. The witches in your house can no longer hold you down. Just as death could not hold Jesus captive. If I be a man of God, all those enemies will come and bow and restitute before you. In the name of Jesus, when they come and beg you, my brother and my sister, forgive them. I just come on, man. I'm not exactly that there, yeah. God has fought your battle. Don't ever fight for yourself. You've got to be fighting for you. And those who are fighting you, they will be going down. You, whether they fight, you will be rising by the word of the Lord. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. I said, God bless you. The Lord has taken us to places. God bless you. The Lord has healed in many nations and countries through us. God bless you. Uh, the Lord is still using us for you tonight. God bless you. Hallelujah. 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 Sing hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Sing hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Sing hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, Isaiah, Kulin, Isaiah. 
this into our lives will find an expression in our lives in the mighty name of Jesus. The heavens open and open before us. All our other desires will come to fruition. We will rejoice and be glad in you. Our joy shall be full in the mighty name of Jesus. God bless us and the bring us to an end in the precious name of Jesus. We thank you all. We thank you all. We thank you all. God bless you all. <laughs>